Welcome to the Kim D. Snyder Show, episode number 137. It's Wednesday, December 8th, 2021. Day 88 on my weekday daily journal. Today's topic is about just-in-time learning, and I'm expanding upon this because I had done a post on social media recently and there were some questions, and so I wanted to clarify and go a little bit deeper. And just-in-time learning is learning right before you need to implement so that, one, you're effective, you have the learning, and you implement it, right? You you don't use it, if, use it or lose it, right? And then, two, that way you don't spend all the time learning and taking time up front, and you might not need it. You might not need to know all that information. So it's almost like an agile um, approach in, um, in project management, right? You, you kind of... Do what you know, and then you might need to learn something else based on what you've already done. Okay, so here's a couple guidelines. Number one, align your learning with your goals and the due date. So for example, let's just say you have a goal that's due in six months. Well, you've already broken down either in your mind or piece of paper what you need to do. Well, in those steps, you might have to do a little training before each of those steps. So back it out, you know, whatever that appropriate amount of time is. The second thing I want to share is a framework. So I typically work in 90 day blocks for big goals, right? So 12 weeks. The framework that I have for learning is 1, 2, 12. One day, two weeks, 12 weeks. So if we take that example I mentioned before, if you've got a goal to accomplish in 90 days, three, three months, 12 weeks, and you know what you're going to accomplish in 12 weeks. You've broken it down into, you know, eight to 10 steps. One of those steps might be learning an education at the beginning. One of those steps might be a little bit of education before each component that you're doing. It depends on what you need to know. The one in the formula one, two, 12 is one day. Literally, you can learn the day before, you just need to block it out. Now, yes, things might change, so maybe it's literally two days, but in your mind, if you know you need to do something tomorrow, you can actually do some training today. How does that work? Well, it's not like you just decided it today. You see what your calendar is and you work through it. The second one is two weeks. So my work style is I do look ahead every two weeks and, and I see what I have coming up and I can plan accordingly. So at that point, if you've got a big item due in two weeks or four weeks, you can break that down and maybe do half in the next two weeks and the other half in the next two weeks after that. And then at that point, every day or every couple days, you're looking a day ahead to see what you need to get done and learn in that component. So instead of sitting down for eight hours, you know, at the beginning of the month, maybe you're going to sit down and do two hours now and two hours later. How do you take this goal setting into everyday life? Well, this might be something that maybe you're updating a website, updating software, and so maybe you need to build in that as a next step. So part of that would be learning and research. You build it into the step. A lot of people don't build that in, and so you can actually build in that time so that you have your information. And another one is what do you do if you can't do all the learning ahead of time? And so maybe, maybe you have to go teach a class, you need to read, you know, 10 chapters, but you don't have time to read all 10 before you teach the class, then I would read one or two, go teach the class, read the next chapter, teach the class. So again, just in time learning, same, same approach, same process. Would be curious to see what you do for your just in time learning. If you've tried this, for the show notes, go to kimdsnyder.com slash 137.